Please welcome our 2010 Walter Camp Distinguished American from the Philadelphia Eagles and the University of Pennsylvania, Mr. Chuck Bednarik. Thank you, thank you very much. It's, it's nice to be here. And I want to thank the Walter Camp for you for this prestigious award. I was born in the city of Bethlehem. My parents came from Czechoslovakia, the Slovakia part. I am Rozumi Poslovensky i Hultorin Poslovensky. What I said is, I understand Slovak and I talk Slovak. So, as I said, I was born in the city of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. My parents came to this company from the Slovakia part of Czechoslovakia. And when I was born, it was during the Depression. We had to go to family welfare for clothes and food. That was a hard life growing up. In the meantime, there was no cars on the street or anything. And I did all my football, basketball, and baseball on the streets because, as I say, there was no traffic. I played high school basketball, football, and baseball. When World War II came, I was drafted. I couldn't wait to go. I was assigned to the Air Force. I wanted to be a pilot. but. As an 18-year-old kid, piston A goes here, piston A goes this. What the hell did I know what the hell the pistons do? <laughs> so I couldn't pass the test to be a pilot, but I was assigned to the aerial gunnery school, and I took it at the Tyndall Field, Florida. I was assigned with the crew, and I still talk or see a few of them today. Most of them are gone. And we flew over the uh, Pacific Ocean, over the Atlantic Ocean, to Europe. And from Europe, I was flying 30 missions over Germany. And boy, some of those missions, especially when you went to a city like Berlin or Cologne, wow. Man, the aircraft was unbelievable. And I'll never forget. When I completed my 30th and final mission, I kissed the ground, looked up in the sky, and said, God, I don't ever want to fly again. <laughs> well, that's true, but... <clears throat> but when I fly from the ABE airport to Harrisburg or something, that's not that big because nobody is shooting at me. <laughs> well, I live in a place called Coopersburg, Pennsylvania. My wonderful wife of 64 years. She's that old, but you know what? She looks like she's 25. <laughs> really, she's a very, very attractive girl. As I said, we had have, we have five daughters, and with those five daughters, there's 10 grandchildren, so Christmas time is a little expensive. <laughs> and they don't want gifts, they want money. <laughs> and you know, money's easy to give away to the kids. God didn't give me any boys. He gave me five daughters. Charlene, Donna, Pammy, Carol, Jackie. Five of them. So 
ladies and gentlemen, I just, again, I'll, I'm going to sit down. My daily life, early to bed, early to rise, and the first thing I do is go to church, to Mass. Okay.